High risk workers at Naval Hospital Jacksonville began getting the Pfizer vaccine today. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean is joining us live from the hospital. Joe. We were there as the first COVID-19 vaccine was administered here at Naval Hospital Jacksonville. It, this is actually one of the first DOD facilities to get the vaccine and doctors and healthcare workers here say they're relieved. The first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at Naval Hospital Jacksonville given to Lieutenant Commander Alexandra Perry, the ICU medical director. Uh, it, it feels pretty good. Uh, it's it's nice to finally get get a vaccine in and be able to feel like I can go home to my family safer, take care of my patients more safely. Perry was at the top of the priority list as she works on the front line. It's devastating to families when you know the, the death rate being what it is. It's devastating to have your family member on a ventilator for prolonged periods of time. And while safety protocols won't be relaxed here anytime soon, Dr. Michael Kaplan said there's light on the horizon. And we're we're very optimistic that this is going to help lead uh, our hospital and their community out of this pandemic. Both here in Jacksonville and at other military facilities, the priority is high exposure risk personnel. Others will follow. No one is required to get the vaccine. It's on a volunteer basis. The Navy's senior most official, Admiral Michael Gilday, issuing a call to his troops today saying, quote, I ask that every member of our Navy team strongly consider receiving the vaccine, not only for yourself, but for your shipmates, your family and your fellow citizens. Now we here at, uh, here at the Naval Hospital, Kaplan said uh, he couldn't give a timeline on how long the immunization process will take, but he said uh, the hospital does have enough doses to uh, inoculate all of the hospital staff. He also said uh, the priority right now is to make sure that administration process is safe and efficient. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.